So can we get excited about the looks of an estate car? I think so. Audi make very, very nice cars, and the RS4 is no different. But what have they done differently with this compared to the standard A4 estate? Well, for a start, it's 20 millimeters lower to make it that little bit more sporty. It's got flared wheel arches, as you probably notice, the mirrors, a little bit of chrome on them. Not a great deal different. Let's go to the back. Now, other than the fact that it's filthy, <laughs> you'll notice the double exhaust at the back and the fact that it's got RS4 on it. And finally, you'll notice different alloys. Those eagle-eyed car enthusiasts might notice the RS written on the brake calipers and the blacked out windows. Not a great deal different from the A4 really. Um, nothing that particularly stands out, but in my opinion, uh, Audi have done particularly well. They've made it a bit of a sleeper car. It's something that they do with their range. You probably notice with the RS3, it's not as outlandish as the A45 and the Focus RS. And also with the, the new TT RS, not a massive amount different from the outside uh, to the standard TT. We talked about the looks, but what's really important is how these cars drive. Let's find out. Cheers mate, I'll take it from it. Lovely stuff. <laughs> ah. There you go. I uh, forgot about that. We said that I do design an interior. <laughs> got a naturally aspirated 4.2 litre V8 engine which gives you 444 brake horsepower it'll get you to 60 in 4.7 seconds and de-restricted it'll get you all the way to 174 in an estate crazy one thing that's better than the power and the speed of this car is not only the fact that the torque is available in every gear, no matter what the revs are, put the foot down, it goes, it just wants to go, it will eat this road up. But the most impressive thing is it drives like it's on rails. Now, we all know that that's down to the amazing Quattro system that the Audis have. And it's for that very fact that makes this car a much better choice than the C63. Although, maybe not a much better choice, but a better choice. When you put your foot down, it is traction immediately, immediate pace. There's no wheel spin, there's no screeching of tires, there's no torque steer. Put your foot down and we're off. Straight down the line, it is rapid. It's such an impressive car, and so much of it is down to that Quattro system. You could take the traction control off, we're in wet weather, I'd still feel completely safe thrashing it around. One figure that isn't so impressive to look at is the miles per gallon. Sub 30. Now, in this day and age, sub 30 is not that good. However, this is a performance car. It's from the RS range of Audis, you know. These are their pinnacle. These are like racing cars on roads. And it's for that reason alone that the miles per gallon should not be a figure that you should even think about. And one of the best features, or well it's not a feature as such, but one of the best things about this car for me is when you drop it down a gear, the noise that just comes out of the, uh, out of the exhaust just hits you with a really loud crackle and a pop. It's so good. It's when you know you're driving a proper car, a proper performance car. It's fantastic. One good thing about the uh, the gearbox in this is that uh, it will it will hold the gear 
So in a lot of automatics, it'll you'll get to a point on the rev range and it'll think, no, I've had enough, I'm changing up. This, you're driving it and it, it must think, you know best, let's keep it here, we've got more to give. And it does. It's good. It lets you drive, not the computers. So, to the inside, a very, very nice place to be. The seats, a little bit of suede on them, very, very comfortable as I'm going very, very fast in my RS4. What I will say is the steering wheel, it's like a racing car steering wheel. It's solid, it looks the part. It's because it's the sportier version, I get it. Would I prefer something a little bit softer, maybe a bit of suede on the uh, steering wheel as well? Wouldn't go amiss. The one thing I will say, and it's an absolute tick when it comes to um, the Audi RS4, is the infotainment system. It's so simple to use. You just flick through all the options here via one button, you click, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but having menu and back on there as very simple options. And if you, if you like, I mean, simple is very, very important to me. I mean, maybe that says something about me. The one thing I will say what they've done in this car is that if you're driving it with the family in the car, you can drive it in a very comforting sort of setting. You can feel like you're sitting in your living room, but then once you drop the kids and the family or the missus off to a kid's party, you can then adjust the seat to lower, adjust the steering wheel, and you are in official sports mode.